We could be in the middle of an intergalactic conversation and we wouldn't even know. Our technology is so primitive, we look on simply one frequency. Any advanced civilization will send messages across all frequencies in order to compensate for passing stars, passing stellar explosion, static, and interference. That's real science. However, scientists sometimes judge alien technology on the basis of what we can do, not on the basis of what a type 3 civilization, millions of years more advanced than ours, can do. This beautiful little blue-green ball that's just a floating around the sun, then through earthquakes, volcanoes, plate tectonics, continental drift, solar flares, sunspots, magnetic storms, the magnetic reversal of the poles, Hundreds of thousands of years of bombardment by comets and asteroids and meteors, worldwide floods, tidal waves, worldwide fires, erosion, cosmic rays, recurring ice ages. What? Are these fucking people kidding me? The only thing we can be sure of about the future is that it will be absolutely fantastic. So, if what I say now seems to you to be very reasonable, then I'll fail completely. Only if what I tell you appears absolutely unbelievable, be any chance of visualizing the future as it really will happen. We move forward, backward, left, right, up, down, and we say that's all there is. What you see is what there is. However, we now believe that there is a theory of heaven that will allow us to, quote, read the mind of God. We think that there is a higher theory called M theory that exists in the eleventh dimension. Dimensions where we have strings and membrane that pulsate. predict the future is a discouraging hazardous occupation because the prophet invariably falls between two stools. If his predictions sound at all reasonable, you can be quite sure that in 20 or most 50 years, the progress of science and technology has made him seem ridiculously conservative. On the other hand, if by some miracle a prophet could describe the future exactly as it was going to take place, his predictions would sound so absurd, so far-fetched, that everybody would laugh him to scorn. This has proved to be true in the past, and it will undoubtedly be true, even more so, of the century to come. Now we now believe that our universe is nothing but a tiny bubble, a bubble floating in a much larger hyperspace. In other words, cosmologists don't really believe in a universe anymore. We believe in a multiverse, a megaverse of bubbles that are constantly springing into existence, expanding like in a big bang. So in other words, our universe may coexist in an ocean of other universes. We should go boldly where man has not gone before.